My darling Caleb, as I lay here thinking about you and our wedding ceremony tomorrow, I am at a loss for words. So many dates, trail rides, and adventures have led to this magical day. You are the man I have searched for, and I thank God every day for putting you in my life. I promise to cherish you daily and love you deeply. When I look at you, I see my whole world. From this day forward, I will walk hand in hand with you for eternity. I cannot imagine life without your contagious laugh, your encouragement, and unconditional love that you continually show me. Today I will walk down the aisle with smiling eyes and a full heart to the most handsome and loving man I have ever laid eyes on. I am so excited to begin this next adventure with you, starting our forever as husband and wife. I love you, Kayla Blue. All my love, Kaylee. are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. If they fall, one will lift up his fellow, but woe to him who is alone when he falls and has no one to lift him up. Again, if two lie down together, they will keep warm, but how can one keep warm alone? And though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. This is the word of the Lord. Jesus said, Have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female and said, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let man not separate. To my beautiful bride, Kaylee. Every woman dreams of the day they get to walk down the aisle, all the eyes on her, feeling so beautiful and bright as can be. Every man dreams of the day he gets to see the stunning sight of the most perfect person for him walk down the aisle to receive his hand. Today, together with all our loved ones present, in person and in spirit, we get to see our dreams come true. You are the most beautiful person to me, both inside and out. Your caring, loving heart shines forth in your eyes each day and every time you smile. One of our greatest callings in life is to love one another. Every day my love for you continues to grow and it makes my heart complete. I promise to give you a lifetime of love, love that never fails. I look forward to the many years to come filled with both challenges that we no doubt can overcome together and unforgettable moments of joy and peace that we will share together. Here's to a lifetime of love together. Forever yours, Caleb. Once upon a time, there was a handsome prince who met a beautiful maiden and they soon discovered that they had many, many, many things in common. They could talk for hours about anything. And they shared their hopes and their dreams with each other for the future. They loved horses and riding and the outdoors. And one day they went on a trip to a faraway land and an enchanted country where love is in the very air that is breathed. And the prince got down on one knee and he asked his beautiful maiden to spend the rest of her life with him. And she said, yes. And they got married. And do you know how those stories end? They lived happily ever after. At least that's what we hope, right? That's the way we plan it. In fact, I've been doing this for some 30 years now. I haven't counted probably nigh on to 200 weddings. And I can stand here today and honestly tell you that I have never had a couple get married who imagined themselves living miserably ever after. But you have already figured out that it's not quite that simple. And so for that reason, I'd like to give you a secret. I'd like to tell you something that will make all the difference in the world, but it's not about how to live happily 
ever after, but rather how to live gracefully ever after. If you're going to live gracefully ever after, you need to know and you need to believe that love conquers all. Caleb, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live with her in holy marriage according to the word of God? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be husband to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Kaylee, will you have this man to be your husband, to live with him in holy marriage according to the word of God? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be wife to him as long as you both shall live? I will. I, Caleb. I, Caleb. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. And these witnesses. And these witnesses. Take you, Kaylee. Take you, Kaylee. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death parts us. Until death parts us. And I pledge you my faithfulness. And I pledge you my faithfulness. I, Kaylee. I, Kaylee. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. And these witnesses. And these witnesses. Take you, Caleb. Take you, Caleb. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death parts us. Until death parts us. And I pledge you my faithfulness. I pledge you my faithfulness. Receive this ring. Receive this ring as a pledge and token. As a pledge and token of wedded love and faith. Of wedded love and faithfulness. Receive this ring. Receive this ring as a pledge and token. As a pledge and token of wedded love and faithfulness. Of wedded love and faithfulness. Now that Caleb and Kaylee have consented together in holy marriage and have given themselves to each other by these solemn pledges and have declared the same before God and these witnesses, I pronounce them to be husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Caleb Lucas. Good evening, families and friends, ladies and gentlemen. I am Caleb's older brother, Stanley, and I'm honored to be serving as his best man tonight. First, I'd like to thank you all for coming out and joining in the celebration of Caleb and Kaylee. For those who don't know much about Caleb and I's relationship, let me fill you in a little bit. At first glance, most people would think that Caleb is older than me. I'm not sure if that's because of his more mature personality or my thicker head of hair. But, but being the oldest, I have had the privilege to watch Caleb grow into the amazing man he is today. Growing up together, we always had a healthy dose of sibling, civil rivalry, whether that was playing basketball against each other in the driveway, to who thought was each other the better four-wheeler driver, which I think I still am today since I never did break any wrists. Caleb was always a good, a good kid, straight A student, never seemed to get into any trouble. Although I do recall the one and only time Caleb received a whooping from grandma. I don't quite remember the reason for the spanking, but I still have the image of Caleb today of hopping up and down the hallway like a kangaroo with grandma right behind him with every step, just all down the hallway. I think that's the beginning of Caleb's good jumping ability that he always had. 
Needless to say, I would like to think that I've had an impact in Caleb's life, but I would say that he's had impacted me the most. With his strong work ethic, can-do attitude, he has strived me to be the better person, and I thank God that he has given me an amazing younger brother who I look up to. <clears throat> now, Kaylee, I want to thank, welcome you into our family, and I want you both to remember, as you all start this adventure of life together, that with the two of you together, and God by your side, that all the ups and downs, the joys and sorrows will make that adventure of life that much sweeter. So, with that, let us raise our glass to Caleb and Kaylee, and the incredible journey that they are about to embark on. Cheers. It must be rough growing up as the youngest of three sisters. With a significant age difference between us, and in this one's case, a significant age difference, <laughs> we always seem to be at different developmental stages in life. I'm pretty sure there was a large part of Kaylee's life where she felt like the tag-along little sister, always getting picked on. We picked on her a lot, like a lot, a lot. For years, she got double portions of vegetables when I would just scrape them onto her plate when mom wasn't looking at dinner. But clearly, she has me to thank for her healthy eating habits that she has today. So, you're welcome. We are so happy that Kaylee has found a partner in Caleb. They complement each other so well, and they bring out some really incredible strengths in each other. They challenge each other, they respect each other, and they protect each other. Caleb has razor-sharp focus and intentionality in his life. He knows his values and how those values shape his character. Since Kaylee has started dating Caleb, we've seen that sense of calmness and confidence exude from her. He gives her a safe space to be the best version of herself, and we are very grateful for that. We can't wait to see what life has in store for both of you. As much as we've loved seeing how far you've come, what we're most excited to see is where life will lead you together. So everyone please raise your glass to Kaylee, to Kaylee and Caleb. And Caleb.